Well, hi everyone, welcome to this edition of Photography Tips and Tricks Product Spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new plugin from the makers of Painter. They've introduced a new one called Particle Shop for Photoshop. Now, it's a brush plugin that allows you to do some really cool special effects right inside their interface. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of really cool ways to use this, but I encourage you to definitely try this out. Now, I have an image here of this astronaut, which I think needs a little bit of atmosphere. I want to add some stars and some other atmospheric effects. So Particle Shop's really going to be perfect for this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and launch the, uh, the plugin. I'm going to go under the uh, filter menu, go down here to Painter and launch Particle Shop right there. Now, if you're a big time brush fan like I am in Photoshop, this is a huge leap forward because if you've used Painter before, you know that there's a really powerful brush engine in there. And what they've done is they've taken uh, the best of that brush engine into this plugin and now giving you the ability to use it inside of Photoshop. Now, when you launch the interface, you're going to see it right here. And it's a really simple stripped down interface. It makes it easy for you to use. Now, the first thing you do is you go over here to the side and you've got a number of different um, collections of brushes that you can use. Now, when you buy the plugin, you get the starter pack, which gives you a collection of uh, brushes from the various packs they have available. And you can uh, buy extra ones um, after, you've, after you've got the plugin. And that is what these sets are down here. We've got things like spaced out, storm, uh, smoke and steam, light effects, all these really cool things in here. So let me just show you how this works. So I'm going to go in here and locate the spaced out group here. Now I've got a number of different brushes in here that you can see in the preview. And I'm going to start by going ahead and grabbing the Starfield brush. Now, up here in the options bar up here, you can see that there's a few settings. You can actually modify the brush size and the brush opacity. But you can also turn on pressure. If you're using a pressure sensitive tablet like I am here, I'm going to go and turn these settings on and this will allow it to respond to pressure sensitivity, which is a great feature. So what I'm going to do now is go over here and choose a color for the brush. I'm just going to set this to white and let's go ahead and start painting. Now you'll notice the star field really kind of starts to take shape right away. And this is a really great thing is like what's going on under the hood here are some really interesting algorithms, really nerdy talk there, um, of distributing these particles. And this is a really, really uh, interesting result in the end, something that um, you just couldn't do in just Photoshop. Now, got a little bit of Starfield going on there. I'm going to add a few more things to it. Now, let's go up here and locate. I've got this um, light set here. No, let's go up here to this uh, flame set right here. So all these different flame um, characteristics. Now, they do show the preview in the form that you might anticipate you would use it in, like flame looks like a fire. But I'm going to actually use the flame in a kind of blue color. Actually, no, let's go kind of a green. I want to create this kind of nebulous cloud in the background here. So you can just kind of get these kind of cool effects going on here. And notice you can see the little scattered effect the brush is doing as it does this. Kind of gives me an interesting, you know, kind of nebulous cloud there. Kind of cool. And I can go in here and add a whole bunch of other things too. Let's go back to that spaced out one. You got fireball here. I can actually create kind of a fire trail effect here. You just got all these cool different things you can do and mix and just add different things to it. And once you're done, you just go ahead and click save and it's going to return you back to Photoshop and those effects are then uh, applied to your image. Now, I'm just going to show you another one. Let me go ahead and open up my other image here. Let's go ahead and get this one. So if you're a photographer, and you want to add some simple light effects or just some really cool special effects to your photos, um, maybe something like this, I'm going to go ahead and back into Particle Shop here. Now, I am going to go actually go to this one called Fabric Fantasy. It's actually a really cool set here. And uh, there's, this one, there's this one brush I like. It's called Silk Scarf right down here. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And let's go ahead and zoom in here. And let's go ahead and change the color of my brush. It's uh, kind of a pinkish glow there. Now, this really shows you what's going on inside of the brush engine here. If I, once I click and start painting, let me actually let me zoom in here a little bit. Watch what happens to the brush as I start painting. It creates these kind of lines that distribute the effect as you paint. And it's just kind of doing this at random. And as you paint, it just kind of uh, spreads the effect out and really gives you this kind of cool light glow effect on it. And that's just moving the cursor around. But that was really doing it with no real effort in mind. And yet the effect looks really cool, which demonstrates to you how easy it is to get some really, really cool effects with this plugin in no time. But doing a little bit more experimentation, you find yourself getting some really, really impressive effects in just a few minutes. Now, 
Where can you get this plug in and find out more? You're gonna to wanna to go to painterartist.com slash Kelby1. And here's where you can find out a lot more information about the plug in. As you scroll down, you can see some demos. And actually, as you scroll even further down, you can see some interactive demos and even more information about the additional brush packs that are available. And there's a lot of really cool brush sets here that are available to add to the plug in. So again, that is painterartist.com slash Kelby1. Find out more information on it. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. It's a really cool new plug in.